since I last saw you about a week ago at a seminar, I've actually been thinking about you and uh, and Klaus a little bit each day actually. And uh, I realized that there are few people that I have so much respect for as you two actually. And it's not just for the things you do, it's actually for the way you are as a person, which I think is even more rare. I know it's kind of weird that I'm making a video actually for you right now since I'm just the son of some of your good friends. But the thing is that you've actually made, uh, both of you, you and your husband have made a pretty big impression on me. And I know that my parents have donated and I know that it should it's for all of us, from all of us. But I, I've, I, I didn't sacrifice anything, or what you can, what you want to name it, in by doing, by them donating. So I wanted to do something more, and then it hit me. I do YouTube, so this is my way of doing it. Okay, so I do YouTube. What can I do with YouTube? I know it's not much, and I know it won't buy you any more um, treatment, but it's what I can offer. So here's someone wishing you. Good luck in the fight, which we all know you will win against cancer. Hey, Brigitte. Um, I've heard that you have gotten cancer, and so I just want to say, like, you can, sur you will be able to do it, and you will succeed, and cancer will soon go away from you, and yeah, good luck. Hi, Bertrand. I have from a problem, and I wish you the most luck on the world, and we all believe in you. So hang in there. Hi, Birgitte. Jeg vil bare lige sige, at jeg sidder herhjemme og, og holder, holder med dig. Og jeg er helt sikker på, at uh, du nok skal klare den. Du skal bare tro på det. Og huske din familie og dine venner, som sidder derhjemme og hæpper med. Så uh, det skal nok gå. Du skal nok klare den. Hi there, Bridget. I heard about your disease. It's hard, I know, but I know you'll get better. I know, just, I just know it. If you ever need a smile or a laugh, go and watch Faisen's videos. They will always make you smile, so just go and watch it. I support you. A friend of Faisen is a friend of me, and I'll never let anyone down. It's scary to fight something so big, but uh, like I always say, face your fears. Your fears are only as big as you make them yourself, so just fight. I know you can, you can uh, come over this. You are more than strong enough, so don't ever give up. Just never give up. We are here for you, and we will never leave you alone. So remember to face your fears. Du kan klare det, Birgitte. Don't worry. Er det rigtigt, Bailey? My original idea was actually to make awareness and, I don't know, somehow raise some money for you, but that's just me and my ambitious ideas again, and I realized that I'm probably not big enough for that to happen. But then, instead it was like, I want to show you something, because... That you make, that you make, you and your husband make impacts and impressions on people that you maybe didn't even know you did, and that's a pretty huge thing in my opinion. And <laughs> look at me here, I'm I'm the son of someone you know, and I'm making your video. That's how big of an impression you made on me. You got cancer around three, four months ago. From the very beginning, everyone has supported you a lot, and I know you're very overwhelmed by the support. But the thing is that good things happens to good people, and that's just the way that is. I don't have a lot of money, <laughs> so I can't donate to you, even though I really want to, but I think a really big and important part of beating cancer, as I know you will, is the mental part, so I'll try to help that with every joyous spirit I have inside of me. I know that both of my parents love you, and I know that my parents wouldn't love you if there wasn't a reason to love you. And the thing is that, that you're both you and your husband are both genuinely good persons and like good human beings and it is so rare nowadays you you are and that's why you get so much support as well if if just think like this if you wasn't a good person people wouldn't help you but you are and that's why you get a lot of support actually just today i i saw you and, and klaus today at the restaurant, I actually still have my working clothes on and i just talked to you and you look so strong seriously it's 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 weird for me to think that a person who is so sick can look so healthy and and so genuinely ready for life as you do. Th that's amazing in my opinion. I still I still remember what Klaus Klaus did. Typical him that uh, I was wait waiting. I don't know if you can say raidering. I was doing waiter stuff and um, suddenly I just hear like four tables away. Hey you waiter! I'm like what? 
get over here now and everybody's just looking it's like oh close of course <laughs> and i get over and he give me a big hug and a, and a big kiss on the cheek and 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 the 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 thing i want to say here is that why i wanted to do this video is because i feel you both have the impact on me it's um you're both really big personalities you're both very unique persons i know up if i be, uh, grow up to become a man with their principles and personality as claws and if i grow up and find a woman and a wife who is as strong and beautiful as you are inside and outside then everything does else doesn't matter i know this may be a little bit weird since we we've, we've seen each other sometimes but still but my opinion is that when someone are special they need to know they're special and my only hope for this is that it brings a little smile on your on your face at least for 2 seconds